It's November 10th, happy Friday, and with the new Apple iPhone 10 out now for a week, there have been precious few bugs that have popped up for the handset, except for that odd letter I autocorrect thing, which Apple says their ironically numbered 11.1.1 update resolves. Great, except now there's apparently a new problem for iPhone 10 owners living in cold climates. Several users have reported that the phone's screen becomes unresponsive almost immediately when going from, say, the warmth of a fireplace fire with puppies and kittens all around to opening the front door and stepping into a raging blizzard. Clearly a big problem. Apple says they're aware of the issue and a software fix is in the works and that most of the time the phones actually will work fine after a short time out in the cold. So until the update drops, no exact date was specified, we suggest staying closer to the warm fire part of the equation and maybe getting a little scar for something for your iPhone 10. Some video game news now. GameSpot and other outlets are reporting that Electronic Arts is buying up Respawn Entertainment, which makes the Titanfall series, and a new version of the popular shooter is on the way. It's more of a consolidation move than a blockbuster merger, as EA was the distributor for Respawn's wares since early on in the company's history, and this essentially brings the whole sausage works under one roof. Lots of good news here too. Like we said, a new Titanfall game is in the works, along with a new Star Wars game and a VR game. Respawn's CEO says he is staying on to helm the ship, and no layoffs are planned. EA reportedly paid $151 million for Respawn. Just when you thought there will be a new Star Wars film every year from Disney until our son dies a cold, pitiless death, comes news that, well, that's pretty much what's going to happen. Disney announced Thursday that Last Jedi director and apparent superfan Ryan Johnson is going to work up an entirely new Star Wars trilogy that is not connected to the current Skywalker saga. He's also going to write and direct the first installment. In a press release, longtime Star Wars producer and Lucasfilm icon Kathleen Kennedy said that after seeing Ryan's work on Last Jedi, which could hold no small number of surprises, they greenlit the plan for him to pen an entirely new series of feature films. So far, there's no word on a reaction from Star Wars creator George Lucas, who may have been busy swimming in a pool full of money after Disney bought him out for over $4 billion a couple of years ago. There's no word on what the new trilogy is going to be called, or where it'll be set, or what it'll even be about, and we'll have to wait to pass judgment on Johnson's Star Wars chops until after Last Jedi opens on December 18th. That's it for DT Daily this week. Be sure to check out Digital Trends for all the latest tech news, as well as our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to check out all of our podcasts, including Between the Streams, live at 2 p.m. Pacific today, where we'll be talking more about the ever-expanding Star Wars universe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.